One show artist, Adam Banji, has also gone back in time to recreate a beautiful landscape. I am on the coast of Devon looking for a very specific location and I think I found it. St. Nicholas's Chapel in Ilfracombe was depicted over 200 years ago by artist William Daniel. From 1813, he spent 12 years traveling and illustrating our coastline from Land's End to the Orkneys and back. He produced over 300 finely crafted prints. I'm going to recapture this view in my style now and see how it might have changed over the centuries. I'm just gonna sketch, get a balanced light and shade, and I'm gonna work this through getting the right proportions and textures. You can see this lovely shadow that falls right down. And that's the shadow of St. Nicholas on the hill, which makes it look very dramatic and interesting. So I might exaggerate that. In the early 1800s, Ilfracombe was already important as a harbour. There was coal from South Wales and fishing, yet it was small, with just one main street. Daniel came here at the age of 44, in the first year of his voyage around Britain. His writing companion, Richard Ayton, declared that seldom seen a place more picturesque. I'm using um, a broad stroke technique with the pencil, where I behave as if I'm using a brush because they're more ragged rocks. I'm going in bits and pieces just to get the dark texture and the effect of shade. Whenever I need more dark, I just add more pressure. I'm going to use what I sketch now to complete a painting I'll reveal later. It's believed mariners were helped by fire beacons on the hills centuries before the chapel was built in 1321. In the book, it's referred to as a whimsical fancy and a model of inconvenience because of the climb. I don't think it's too bad. The local Rotary Club renovated the building in 1962. John Brown is the guardian. Hi, I'm Andy. Good nice to, nice to meet you. What would have it been used for during the time Daniel came? We suspect it might have had possibly been used by the military at that time. Okay. Uh, because that was the time of the Napoleonic Wars. Yeah. And obviously a building like this would have made an ideal observation post. Then from the mid-1800s, it was a house for the lighthouse keeper. It actually brought up 14 children in this building. Inside, the chapel is pretty cosy for a family with 14 children. The light is maintained electronically today, so harbour master Rob Lawson doesn't have to live here. This light can be seen from six miles away, um, and it flashes two times every five seconds, so that you can identify it when, when you're out at sea. Well, I'm itching to see this powerful piece of light. Uh, I think you'll be surprised at how small it is, but please do come all up and right. have a look. Okay, all right, let's see. Tell me. Whoa! Is this the small little light that you can see six miles away? Modern LEDs are very, very bright. Unbelievable! The light may be small, but the view is massive. There's one thing I'm going to take home after this whole experience, and that is the light. When I looked at it from far across over there in the morning, this St. Nicholas Chapel looked amazingly blazing in the light. That's what I'm going to take back to the studio and that's what I'm going to strive to get. And there it glows, St. Nicholas's Chapel, Ilfracombe, the perfect inspiration for Daniel's 19th century depiction and now my own 21st century painting. Wow, I wish I could paint like that. Yeah, wow, that's fantastic.